Okay, so let's take a look at the octave mapping effect included in the Textures Toolkit. This is a really unique, nice effect that's going to allow us to separate sounds and define sounds that only can happen in a certain octave. This is really, really useful, especially if you're an intro user to where you can't do octave mapping and key mapping in instrument racks because you're not able to edit instrument racks. But here's how it works. I have my three patch sounds pulled up, three patches. Okay, here's my first one. Okay. Now I want this patch to only run from C2 to C3. So what I'm going to do is go into octave mapping and I just pull up C2 to C3, drop that in. Now it's only going to run from C2 to C3. If I go above there to D3, you see it's not going to work. I want my stable pad to run from C2 to C3 as well. Okay, So I'm going to throw that in and arm it. Now you hear our reverse piano as well as our pad patch. But I want this 80s pad heaven, this last sound, I want it to operate from C3 to C4. So I'm going to drag that effect in, arm that track as well, and now we have this. So you can see I use my 25 key keyboard to essentially very quickly and easily split my sounds layer some sounds while having other sounds separated by themselves. And that is octave mapping from the Textures Toolkit.